My name is Marty Townsend. I am Program Director at Kohea, the Hawaiian Environmental Alliance. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization that works on environmental protection and cultural perpetuation. We're a network of kapuna cultural practitioners, environmentalists, ocean lovers um, from all across the main Hawaiian Islands. So right now, um, the management plan for the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands Monument, uh, renamed Papahana Mokuakea, um, is currently being developed. And right now, the federal agencies are proposing a lot of activities um, that are inconsistent with the goal of conserving um, this whole important area. Um, at Midway specifically, They're proposing to increase tourism there, and so they have a proposal to build two new welcome centers, um, to build um, a place for visitors to stay, basically a hotel. Um, there's no cap on the number of visitors that can go up in any one day. Um, for example, last year um, they had 1,500 people on Midway on one day, and that was the 65th commemoration of the Battle of Midway. And uh, so cruise ships could conceivably go to Midway um, and drop off thousands of people. So long as those people sleep on the boat, they could stay there for as long as they wanted to. Um, what they do is uh, put people on smaller boats and then bring them into the Midway. To um, accommodate their proposed increase in ecotourism, um, the co-managers are proposing to build um, a new power plant, a new wastewater treatment, and a new solid waste disposal uh, facilities. There's no commitment. Um, right now, the Midway uses all fossil fuels, which are imported to the island. Everything that is used on the island is imported, and um, the solid waste is um, shipped off, And there, but there are also landfills at Midway, um, and the wastewater is also being um, disposed of on the island. You know, when the Midway was um, first um, developed for the military, for the Navy to use, um, as many as 5,000 people were living there. And now you have about um, 80 to 100 people who are living there. A majority of them are staff, um, researchers, um, and, and people who help to um, work on the refuge, volunteers as well. Midway is part of the Northwest Twin Islands. Right now the Northwest Twin Islands are managed um, by three agencies. The State of Hawaii um, through the Department of Land and Natural Resources um, and then the federal government through the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Right now the management plan for the, for the monument is um, open for public comment. There are public hearings to be held throughout the month of June and we encourage people to come to the hearings and voice their commitment uh, for conservation of this very important ecological and culturally sacred area. Um, unfortunately right now the uh, co-managers haven't demonstrated that commitment um, to, to, to protect and conserve this area. They are proposing um, increases in extractive research, that's research that takes biological material from um, this monument, which is supposed to be a no-take zone. Um, they're also proposing increases in tourism and increases in military use. Ballistic missiles that are laden with um, chemicals in order to simulate chemical warfare, as well as experiments for hypersonic vehicles and weapons, and high-intensity active sonar. Um, it's, it's very sad that the lead used in the paint um, by the Navy for buildings at Midway uh, is now leached into the environment and is causing albatross chicks to develop what's called droop wing um, and it's basically nerve damage from exposure to lead and uh, there is um, a plan to remediate the lead that's sort of the um, silver lining on all the construction that is proposed for Midway is that the, the the lead paint will be removed, um, but there are considerable other contaminated sites both at Midway um, and at Turn Island and the French Frigate Shoals that have been contaminated by the military and right now there is no commitment to clean those up. Midway is named that because it's um, midway between the continental United States and Japan. Um, it's actually closer to the continental United States, it's not exactly in the middle. Um, 
It's small. It's there's actually three islands that make up Midway: uh, S Midway, Sand Island, and Spit Island, which um, is a seasonal island depending on the um, height of the sea level. Um, sometimes Spit is there, sometimes it isn't. Turn Island is actually in French Frigate Shoals, which is um, closer to the main islands than Midway and it was developed by the, the military um, as a landing strip. So they um, backfilled and destroyed a lot of coral reefs in order to build a runway on Turn Island. Um, now that it's no longer used by the military, um, it's used uh, by refuge staff um, as, a, as a research field station. Um, and so they're talking about maybe stationing um, some people there to do bird counts and, and things like that. Our concern is that this, um, this field station not be turned into a laboratory that's used to conduct experiments that are inappropriate for protecting um, this very special region. Okay. All right, so contamination in the, in the North Hawaiian Islands is actually fairly extensive, and there's been no commitment towards cleanup. Instead, what the managers have done is create no dig zones. Basically, they've identified areas that are contaminated with military contamination, military toxics, and have covered those um, with dirt and basically po posted signs that say that there shall be no human activity. And this was part of the agreement between um, the Navy and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife when um, the Fish and Wildlife Service took over management of these former military bases. There shouldn't be ecotourism uh, in, in the North Hawaiian Islands, in the Papahanaumoku Akea Monument. Um, ecotourism is something that um, has actually led to the de des desecration and degradation of many um, ecologically and culturally significant places, such as the Galapagos Islands, um, such as the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And these are not examples that we want to follow for managing this very special and unique place.